there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. This is the DPMS or Panther Arms CO2 powered 4.5mm BB replica air gun, and I like the look of it. And I've nicknamed mine Boris. That's for me to know and you to figure out. Watch on. Now, I'm not about to tell you that this is the latest Italian super gun slash part bin special. No, even though that is a genius way of doing marketing. No, this is a back garden fun BB gun. It's designed to plink at tin cans and targets. Yep, it's made of a bit of plastic and a bit of metal and it's designed to look like the real thing. But what I wanna know is, is it fun to shoot? And I can answer that question for you quite quickly. <laughs> yes, it's fun. Ooh, if I put on that much weight. In the box, you get the rifle, you get the magazine system, which also holds the CO2 and the BBs, and you get the speed loader. Now, the speed loader, mm, it is about as useful as me entering a 100 meter running race. So actually, that, it's very nice, but just disregard it as a piece of plastic it's pointless. It's done some damage to the environment while it was being made, but you never need to use it again. The magazine system is quite clever. Like I say, the rifle uses two 12 gram CO2 capsules and they fit in the magazine in here. And all you do is use your fingernails, you pop the cover off like that, look, there we go. And there's your capsules sat just in there. And it's really quite easy. Make sure you always charge the first one first and it does clearly say first on there. Don't be an idiot like me and do that one first. No, because then you just lose all your CO2. You make sure you charge the first one first and then you charge that one afterwards. And then you simply put the cover back on. Like that. Look. Nice and easy, okay? And that is how you put your CO2 into your magazine. Then you're gonna simply slide that pin down there Hold it back while you drop your 4.5mm BBs in there, 25 of them to be precise. It's the same sort of system that you do on the CO2 pistols and other CO2 rifles that I've seen. Very simple. Then you let it go and that's it, your BBs are in. On the side just there, you've got your fire select switch. That's safe and that's shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger. If it could go that little bit further round, then that's full auto. But I'm in England, so we don't get that. The gun is also field strippable. You simply push out some of the pins, just here, that one's captive, and you can open the gun up to give it a good clean on the inside. There's also further pins here if you want to completely disassemble it. But when you do that, it means that you can get at the hammer and all the workings, and then, push it back together, push the pins back in, and the gun's ready to shoot again. Magazine goes in gun, very simple. And then over here, this is a nice little touch, when you pull the charging handle back, ready? The ejector port pops open. And then when you're shooting, you will see the blowback action going on inside the gun just there. At the dangerous end, there's this cover, which is left hand thread, and you can pop it off. It does really nothing other than be decorative. And you could, if you had a left-handed thread adapter, put a silencer on there or something. I would just leave that on there because it makes it look all pretty. Adjustable shoulder pad at the back. It's six stage, a little notchy. And if you go too far, it will come off in your hand, but don't panic because it does actually go back on really easily. And there are six stages in there somewhere, but they can be a little notchy to find but it does work when you get it there. It's a plastic trigger on a CO2 action, so it's not match adjustable. According to the box, these are flip-up iron sights. They're plastic. I would take them off and put a red dot on. Something you don't normally get is the ability to close the bolt when you've finished after shooting. On this, you do actually have the ability to do that. There you go, and then you can put your flap up on the side. 
that's a nice touch. DPMS or Panther Arms do actually make real ones of these. And I have to say, they've gone to town on their replica. It really is very good. Seems to be distributed by Crossman or Velocity Outdoors. I think that's about as far as they go in the process. Looking on the case, it still says made in Taiwan. But don't let that put you off. This really is a fabulous looking bit of kit. The box claims 200 shots per two powerlets, which is two 12 gram capsules. And it says up to 430 feet per second. Let's just check that, shall we? I said about shooting 200 shots using my updated FX Chrono and the new bracket to check the shot string. And yep, a high of 476 and a low of 206 feet per second. And I've got well over 200 shots. So the box is correct. So here's a big question. Does owning one of these immediately make me a gun-toting lunatic who kicks penguins all day? <coughs> who is going to do things with guns that no one should do? <coughs> and the answer to that is no. I enjoy my sport and I enjoy this style of rifle despite what the media would like to tell you. Phew, I think us penguins just about got away with that. Maybe not. <coughs> all the links to get all the kit you see on this video are on airgun101.com. See, notice the hat? Along with some videos that aren't even on YouTube yet. Yes, they go on airgun101.com first. You've also got some of the best creators in the world posting all their content on there as well. So please, go and check out airgun101.com. Accuracy then, two inches that way and two inches that way at 10 meters, and that is 25 shots. Expect coke can bottom size grips. That's it. It's not to pest or vermin, just pins and targets. And I suggest using a quality BB and CO2 cartridge. The red dot sight is not included, it's mine. But adding one will help accuracy a lot. The length will go from 67 to 77 centimetres. So you could have fun with this in your backyard with juniors and adults. <laughs> I bought mine from Draper's Air Guns in Nottingham. I paid £279 for it. And I bought it because I saw a review online from Andy of Andy's Air Gun Reviews. It looked rather good. I liked the idea of it. So I bought one. Question is, am I pleased with my purchase? Completely. It's worked for me, apart from the speed loader, first time, every time. And I've thoroughly enjoyed plinking at tins with this in the backyard. It's a damn good looking replica, weighty too. Do you know what? I'm really pleased to have it in my collection. There we are then. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.